China's bold mission to Venus. China's groundbreaking ambitious space plan for 2025 has left space agencies worldwide feeling overshadowed. China is setting its sights higher than ever in 2025, embarking on a series of ambitious space missions that promise to enhance deep space exploration and boost commercial space services. China has unveiled an ambitious 25-year space exploration roadmap, positioning itself as a leader in space science and exploration. One of the standout missions in this plan is a proposal to return samples from Venus's atmosphere to Earth in 2026. A scientific endeavor that could provide unprecedented insights into our neighboring planet's composition and climate. For centuries, Venus has fascinated astronomers, a scorching, toxic world hidden beneath thick clouds of sulfuric acid. Ancient civilizations named it after goddesses of beauty, captivated by its brilliant appearance in our night sky. Yet beneath this alluring exterior lies one of the most hostile environments in our solar system. Now, China is setting its sights on this mysterious planet with an ambitious new mission that could revolutionize our understanding of Earth's nearest planetary neighbor, China's Voice Mission. China's first independent Venus mission, known as Venus Volcano Imaging and Climate Explorer, or VOICE, is scheduled to launch in 2026. The goal? To explore Venus' atmosphere, surface, and volcanic activity like never before. This mission represents a significant milestone in China's rapidly expanding space program, which has already achieved remarkable successes with the Chang'e Luna missions and the Tianwen-1 Mars orbiter and rover. The Chinese National Space Administration, CNSA, has been developing voice in collaboration with Russian space agency Roscosmos, though China will lead the mission independently. The spacecraft will be launched aboard China's Long March 8 rocket, from the Wonchong Space Launch Center on Hainan Island. But why Venus? After decades of focus on Mars, why are scientists and space agencies suddenly turning their attention to this hellish world? Often called Earth's evil twin, has a hellish landscape that defies imagination. Surface temperatures exceed 475 degrees Celsius 900 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. While atmospheric pressure at ground level is a crushing 92 times that of Earth, equivalent to being nearly a kilometer underwater in our oceans. Despite these extreme conditions, Venus shares remarkable similarities with Earth. Both planets are nearly identical in size, mass, and composition, suggesting they formed under similar conditions in the early solar system. But somewhere along the way, their evolutionary paths diverge dramatically. Venus likely once had oceans and potentially habitable conditions similar to early Earth. Scientists believe a runaway greenhouse effect transformed this potentially paradise-like world into the scorching inferno we see today. This transformation holds profound implications for our understanding of climate change on Earth and the delicate balance that maintains our planet's habitability. VOICE will include an orbiter equipped with advanced radar and infrared imaging technology specifically designed to peer through Venus's dense, opaque clouds. The mission's primary scientific instruments include 1. A high-resolution synthetic aperture radar, SAR, capable of mapping surface features with unprecedented detail, potentially revealing active volcanic processes in real time. A multispectral imaging system that will analyze the composition of Venus' atmosphere and surface materials. A suite of spectrometers designed to detect and analyze atmospheric gases, with particular focus on sulfur compounds and other potential biomarkers. For a magnetometer to study Venus' magnetic field, or curious lack of magnetic field, and its interaction with the solar wind, scientists hope to study volcanic activity, weather patterns, and the chemical composition of Venus' atmosphere, especially the presence of gases like phosphine that could indicate geological or even biological processes. Recent controversial findings suggesting phosphine in Venus clouds a potential biomarker, have reignited scientific interest in the possibility of microbial life surviving in the more temperate cloud layers about 50 to 60 kilometers above the surface. VOICE also aims to investigate the mysterious unknown absorber in Venus clouds that absorbs large amounts of ultraviolet radiation, a phenomenon that remains unexplained despite decades of research. China isn't the only country aiming for Venus in this new era of planetary exploration. NASA's upcoming Veritas and Da Vinci missions, along with ESA's Envision and India's Shikram-1, are all part of a new space race to explore Venus in the 2030s. However, 
with an earlier launch date, China could gain a major scientific edge by being the first to return high-resolution data from Venus in the 21st century. The last dedicated Venus missions were ESA's Venus Express, 2005 to 2014, and Japan's Akatsuki, which entered Venus orbit in 2015 after initially failing to do so in 2010. This renewed international interest represents a significant shift in planetary exploration priorities. After decades focusing primarily on Mars and the outer solar system, space agencies worldwide are recognizing Venus's crucial importance to understanding planetary evolution and climate science. Beyond science, the future of Venus exploration. Beyond pure scientific discovery, Venus exploration could lay the groundwork for future space missions and even more ambitious projects. Some scientists have proposed deploying floating research stations in Venus' upper atmosphere, where temperatures and pressures are surprisingly Earth-like. At about 50 kilometers above Venus' surface, conditions are among the most Earth-like in the solar system outside of our own planet. NASA's HAVOC, high-altitude Venus operational concept, has even explored designs for crew cloud cities that could float in Venus' upper atmosphere. While such concepts remain speculative, the data from missions like VOICE will be essential to determining their feasibility. Venus also offers an ideal environment for testing technologies for other harsh planetary environments and could serve as a testbed for climate engineering techniques that might one day be applied to Earth. China's Venus mission is another bold step in the country's rapidly growing space ambitions. In recent years, China has established its own space station, Tiangong, successfully landed rovers on the Moon and Mars, completed the Beidou Navigation Satellite System, a competitor to GPS, announced plans for a joint international lunar research station with Russia. The VOICE mission continues a trajectory of expanding capabilities and scientific reach, positioning China as a major player in the international exploration of our solar system. Will China's VOICE mission rewrite what we know about our neighboring planet? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. This mission represents a crucial step in humanity's quest to understand our cosmic neighborhood and our place within it. As we venture to this hellish world next door, we may find crucial insights into our own planet's past and potential future. Venus stands as both a warning and an opportunity. China's ambitious mission promises to lift the veil on Venus's secrets, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of how planets live, breathe, and evolve. The journey to unveil the inferno has just begun. If you like this video, please consider giving a like. It really helps other people to find my video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.